like that child My life was golden Moving in these streets without being noticed I like it real, real dirty and like it hard. Pause. <laughs> that was a crazy one. What am I? What am I? Moving in these streets without being noticed. Y'all already know my vibe, my people. If you fuck with the channel, if you fuck with me, like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out my previous videos, and check out the links in the description, man. Support your boy. I definitely support back. So if you got anything popping, drop your links in the comment section, and I definitely support you. Check it out, especially if it's positive. But yo, it's a fucked up, doggy, doggy world we living in, my people, man. Hope everybody's doing well, man doing well during this difficult time in the United States of a motherfucking America because this fucked up B former presidents is almost getting assassinated B the struggle is real for everybody man it's not just the urban community it's not just the black community man this is for every community everybody man the drug community the gang community political community whatever fucking community doing negative shit man this shit is real out here my people and I want my people to win. You see, a lot of these people y'all fucking look up to and y'all support don't want you to win, man. They want you to keep spending your hard-earned money, your hard-earned money so they could continue supporting their lifestyle. You know what I mean? That shit is a game, B. Y'all just don't know how to play this fucking game, my people, man. It's always us against us and everything we do, man. Everything we do is just us against us, man. It's fucked up out here, man. As I walk around this free world, man, and live my motherfucking fabulous one life I got to live, man. I be just out here analyzing, man. You see these big eyes? I just be out here analyzing. I got my eyes open and my ears open, man. I'm always on point, man. I know what to look out for, man, because I've been through that shit. I've been through the struggle. I've been through the streets. Ain't shit in the streets no more, man, but a bunch of fucking cameras and a bunch of hungry people out there that's not getting no fucking money, man. That's all in the streets, man. And they looking to make a come up off somebody that's out there trying to do something with their life and trying to help others, but they trying to come up off of them. Robbing them, all type of shit, scamming them. This shit is crazy out here, my people, man. And you know what's so sad, man? A lot of shit that's happening to us in our community is just us against us. Shit is just us against us. We killing each other, we doing everything to each other, we but loving each other. Helping each other, teaching each other. We doing everything but them, them things right there, man. Y'all looking up to these entertainers. These entertainers don't give a fuck about you. These entertainers is here to mislead your dumb ass, man. The entertainers is here to mislead y'all. And I don't understand when y'all gonna wake up, man. I guess some of y'all ain't gonna never wake up. Y'all gonna be forever fucking asleep, man. Wake the fuck up, man. This shit is real out here, man. These entertainers don't care about you. They ain't gonna tell you to go out there and get health insurance. They ain't gonna tell you how to double your money. You know what I mean? They ain't gonna tell you how to do none of that shit, man. They ain't gonna tell you how to get that bag. They want your little bit of money you got so they can continue living their love, luxurious lifestyle. You know what I mean? So they can continue living good. See, I'm glad I woke up in a nigga time, man. But if you want them motherfucking shirts, man, them links is in the description to my website, everything, my Instagram. Fuck with your boy, support your boy, I'm a cool dude. I ain't up here, I don't hate on nobody, I don't care what nobody's doing, what they driving, how they living, how much money they get. I just don't give a fuck, I'm focused on my motherfucking prize and what I wanna do in life. I could never hate on nobody. I just don't like these motherfucking people that sit up there on a the high pedestal misleading our culture fucking up our culture and they from the coach. I just don't like that type of shit. So when I see shit like that, I speak up. So if you see any videos on my page talking about these celebrities like Diddy and all these niggas, because they misleading our fucking culture, man. This shit gotta stop, man. Look what's happening to his ass now. Y'all was up here all probably buying all the Ciroc, the Sean John outfits. I was buying the Sean John outfits too. Ciroc here and here. I want to sue that nigga for my motherfucking money back, B. I was working hard for my motherfucking money I spent on your shit, bro. Supporting you, thinking you was for the community. You out there doing bad to people that's just like you trying to make a living for their family. Put food on their fucking table, clothes on their back, and a roof over their head. And you over there jerking niggas out of money because you want to be the biggest motherfucking boss you want to be a billion, everybody want to be a fucking billionaire, B. But they being a billionaire off of other people's expenses. 
You wouldn't be a billionaire if Biggie wasn't here, the Locks wasn't here, Mason, all these motherfuckers that was down with your crew, whatever. You wouldn't be no billionaire. These niggas is, come on, man. Some of these niggas, man, I hate that shit when I see a nigga that's a billionaire and the artist that he used to fucking have on his label is not doing bad, but they not in that position where they was, should be in. You know what I mean? Yo, y'all gotta wake up, youth, man. Y'all gotta wake up. Just not the youth, the Joe Suka, the Joe's is out here lost. A lot of people don't know what they want in life be. I guess niggas in life, when they made it, they just got a little bit of weed. They could, get, they could get a little train, fuck with a little dot from down the block from the hood. Niggas is happy with that in life. I see that. As I go about my daily life out here, niggas is just happy with that, man. But we gotta do better, people. We gotta do better. I'm not doing no better than nobody else, but I got my motherfucking shit in order, B. I got my motherfucking regular credit going. I got my business credit. Another thing, you can get your own little business going. I know everybody out there is talented, man. Everybody is out there is talented. I'm just building my shit. I started my shit right during COVID, B. But I missed them PPP loans, though. I ain't never get one. I ain't never had one. I missed out on them shits, though, B. Because at that time, I was just getting familiar with it. With the business shit, be building my business credit and all that shit. I got good personal credit, so that's another thing. Rappers and them niggas aren't gonna tell you get your credit right. Get your credit together, people. Get your credit together. I'm not talking about street credit. Street credit, you can't go to the motherfucking real estate with 10, 20,000 and street credit talking about you wanna buy that house. You gotta run a credit check, bro. Half you niggas out there don't even have credit or your credit is fucked up, B. And I know a lot of niggas shit probably fucked up from child support, fucking with these dots from the blocks. We all had that fucking moment where you like a girl, you think a girl is all this and that. And I know a girl had that same situation where she thought a nigga was all this and that. She finally get the nigga or she, he finally get her. Ain't what, it, ain't what you thought it was, playboy. You like, damn, I wasted all my time and we used to, Damn near probably lose a little bit of sleep thinking, oh, when I see her next time, I'm gonna bag her. And then when you get her, you like, the fuck? You start seeing a person as he or she is, but yo, this shit is real out here, my people. And I want my people to wake up and we gotta start teaching kids respect and how to love people, man. Nobody out here don't wanna show no love, no boys. No more respect. You got kids disrespecting people when they out there in the store. Like I was in the fucking Dollar Tree, she was disrespecting the store only two little kids, me. Then she was saying she gonna be, go get her father. This shit is fucked up out here. Guess what? My own kind. Black people. Two black kids who probably been failed by their fucking parents. And this was, this is another thing that's happening out here. When you see disrespectful bad kids, they've been failed by their fucking parents, B. Their parents is a fucking failure. And I hate to say that shit, B. Because there's too much going on out here. There's a lot of bad energy going on out here, man. A lot, man. Look, drop the motherfucking links in the comment section. Check out my links. Sign up to my website. Add me on Instagram. Follow my Spotify. The OG make music too, man. I'm just not with all that gang, gang, bang. It is what it is. They want to do that. They could do that. You know what I mean? Even though these people, them high ups making mad money off these niggas. And they give these niggas little pennies. Slow money better than no money, but it's all my money. Yo, I ain't gonna never forget to tell you niggas this shit. Slow money better than no money, but it's all my money at the end of the day. All I gotta do is pay taxes, nigga. I ain't gotta fucking sit there and split it with no record company that's evil that want me to go out there and make music to tear down my own motherfucking culture. This shit is crazy, man. This shit is fucked up out here, man. And I don't know when my people gonna wake up. Just like I said, people in my fucking community they think they made it when they could drive a farm. They got on the high-priced fashion. They popping bottles of rosé, Deleon, and all that other shit, Patron. And they got mad weed. They think they made it. They got a little clout, got these little hood boogers out there with these motherfucking shits. Baby hair. They even know you ain't no, that ain't no baby hair. I seen some shit. That shit looked like it was booed on the bitch face, dude. That shit was like right here, like, come on. You serious? We gotta do better. Come on, our girls, we gotta do better. We gotta take care of ourselves. Some of y'all got natural good hair. Go get that shit a nice wash and set. Let that shit grow. Take care of that shit, man. For real, man. A lot of our queens, man. 
We can't be going out there and doing the shit that sexy red and them doing, man. We can't be doing that. And they leading a lot of you females out there. Time you get 30, 20, son, you done fucked about 10, 15 niggas. Niggas is, niggas is looking for you on the block on the weekend. Oh, I hope I run into this bitch, Shantae, or whoever the fuck her name is. You know what I'm saying? Especially if, if you a nigga out there and you, and you, cause they like that type of shit. You got a little clout, you out there, you got money. You got, a lot of these niggas out there be, they be out there, y'all see these niggas, these little niggas in their videos with their little mans on them. These niggas ain't even got their own cribs, be. These niggas going back to mom Duke's house. Half of these niggas that be on the block, be. If you ain't the top artist or the artist man, man, you in the videos, you get your clout, but you just get your clout off of fucking video scenes and shit. You ain't getting no real motherfucking. Whatever money you getting, you trying to keep up with it. The Joneses and all that shit going broke, doing dumb shit instead of investing the shit and triple on and double on your money and shit like that. I don't get it, man. I'm just here to save the youth, man. If I can help you, man, yo, message me, man. If you got some ideas, message me, man. We, we get your business, we get your shit signed up with the Secretary of State and all that. We go, we look at your credit profile. I'm willing to help my people, man. I want to help my people because there's a lot of shit we should be owning, B. We don't own shit. Drug dealers that had all of this shit y'all niggas talk about, they don't own shit but a fucking memory, man. All the buildings that you see we living in, these new big buildings and all that shit, man. Them could have been drug dealer business buildings, matter of fact, and businesses under the buildings. So this shit is just crazy, B. And all these niggas on YouTube was the biggest. Oh, they, all you see on YouTube was shit about the black community. People gang banging, who was the big toughest nigga in jail? Who sold the most crack? Who was the most murdered? This murder just came home from doing 32 years. This nigga shot eight niggas. He's a demon. This nigga right here, I chopped off 45 heads. He's motherfucking. He's a maniac. All this bullshit, B. This shit sucks, B. Y'all niggas glorify this shit. Y'all sit up there, y'all watch this shit on the internet. Y'all really think, and all these gang niggas that's making all this music, you're not educating the kids, B. Just like I seen a couple of shit, I think. I seen fucking in a Florida school, somebody had posted it was a picture. No, not a picture, a video. These fucking kids, no bigger than this. Yo, these kids is little kids, man. These niggas know boss man D no music. They probably can't even read and fucking write properly, B. And that's another thing, B. The fucking reading level is very, 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 very fucking low out here, B. Shit's sad, B. We don't own shit. You go into the supermarket, all the Spanish people own the supermarkets. They got their people working. They got their people working, you feel me? Shit is backwards. We the only jackasses that don't have shit, no corporations that got our people working. And these people that's in the entertainment business, man, they just sitting out there doing bad shit to hurt their own fucking people, to make money off their own people and fuck up people's lives. This shit is real out here, my people. I love my people. I'm back with another motherfucking video. Like, subscribe, check out my previous video. I ain't make one in a minute, but I'm gonna be back soon, man. Cause I'm tired of the bullshit going on. Look, we got the president was fucking almost assassinated me. This shit, it don't matter who the fuck you is, man. This shit is crazy, y'all. That's why I just stay low, stay to myself, do my little music, get my little money, work, 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 and work for myself. I ain't got time to be listening to you niggas from the block talking about, oh, oh, he, bro, you don't fuck with me because I ain't slinging no drugs or I ain't gang ganger. I ain't no shooter, huh? Half of these niggas is dumb. These niggas don't have shit, B. They daily thing is, yo, on the block, drinking, smoking, looking fresh with a few dollars in their pocket because they spent all their money on that outfit. A few dollars in their pocket. And you know what's so sad? The rappers got a lot of these people out here living beyond their means, man. I mean, living beyond their means, man. They buying this jewelry. When that shit clean the gutter, that shit sound like motherfucking Budweiser cans clinging. I wish I had some fucking cans or some shit so you could hear that shit, B. Or one of them chains, man. Shit crazy out here, my people, man. Niggas is on purpose sense. Niggas, these niggas is fucking dope feet, not dope feet. These niggas is pill addicts already at a young age, man. You know, I never even took a perk. Only thing I ever took was fucking a leave, Advil, and like a sleeping pill. But I ain't never take no motherfucking perk, nigga. And that's gonna be a nighttime sleeping pill that's not, you know, no form, no habit. Like, you know what I mean? Just to put me to sleep is not for pain, none of that. You niggas out there taking perkies, all type of shit. 
y'all don't even know. And all that shit, some of that shit be counterfeit. Just like I buy my weed from one person. I get my weed from one person, he looks out for me. You know what I mean? I spend my money with other people, but I got a, you got, I can get like five different flavors from my man, B. On one cop. If I go buy an ounce, that whole ounce is considered a five different flavors, B. Facts. No, no thrata even. When I say thrata, no garbage. Strictly lit, B. Moving these streets without being noticed, man. You don't want to be seen. I don't want no Mercedes Benz, B. I drive past you on something right under that. But I got Mercedes Benz money in the fucking bank account and shit like that. You know what I mean? I ain't got time for you niggas out here, man. I ain't got time for no fucking body, man. Thanks to the man upstairs, man, God, and my little bit of family I love, man. Cause you can't love everybody, you know what I mean? Cause everybody not on the same level, and everybody not rooting for me. You know what I mean? But I got love in this all for everybody. We should be loving each other. If you got any issues with family members, man, if family members got issues with family members, brothers got issues with brothers and sisters, oh, squash that shit, man. It's 2024, B. You got nothing but you and your family, man. Trust me, B. That's all you have, B. Your friends and all them motherfuckers that you think the niggas not gonna be there. They not gonna hold it down. Step up to the plate. Y'all niggas gotta wake up out here, man. I got love in this heart for my culture, man. I love my culture. I want my culture to win, especially the youth, man. Especially the youth, man. The youth, man, they gotta win, man. Y'all can't be out here all lean and drugged up because when you get old, that shit gonna fuck up your body. Just like all these niggas, all these tattoos all over the place. These niggas, 50 son, 60 son now, 40 son now, and that shit is like, damn. The only tattoo I got, you might see, like if I got fucking, when I was little and I fell off of bikes and shit, like on my knees. And, I ain't getting no tattoos, man. That shit don't make you no gangster, no thug. Some of them shits be looking dope, though. I ain't gonna lie. I wanted to get my name on my shit, but I'm like, man, fuck that shit. I'm scared too. I'm a bony nigga. I ain't got that much muscle. All right. And I heard once you get one, you get addicted to that shit. But cheer, my people, man. On that note, man, I love the kids. I want the kids to win, man. We got to teach the kids better, man. You got to teach the kids better. Teach the kids to stay on social media, them cell phones. Them cell phones are distracting the kids. Social media distracting the kids. TikTok, all that shit. Snap, Instagram, fit. That shit got kids fucked up in the head. I mean, fucked up. It's to the point where you walking down the street sometimes, you be in the mall, niggas bumping into you because they into their fucking phone. I seen one jackass walking across the street. I'm at the light. The nigga on his phone just going, just not even paying attention. A bike could be coming out of the street. Anything could be coming. You on your motherfucking phone. Everybody being, you could rob anybody. Be niggas be in tune to their phone. Be just walk, just pay attention to when you walking around in the free world. If you come across this video, people just be in tune to their phone. Everywhere they go, they gotta have that phone. Be. That phone is the distraction, the number one worst distraction everywhere, B. No matter what, B. That phone, man. I'm telling you people, man, we gotta get it together. I love the coach, and hopefully the coach is gonna love me. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out my previous videos, share my previous videos, tell people about me, man. I'm not here to beef with no YouTube and all that shit. I'm here to send a positive message. I'm not here for your money. I don't want your donations, nothing. I'm just here to spread some awareness and spread some good energy and good vibes, man. Go get your credit check. Go get your health check. Go do all them motherfucking checks, man. Get your shit together, man, because there's plenty of money out here, man, for everybody, man. For real, for real, man. Teach your kids how to respect one another and respect their elders, too, because the kids is out of control out here. And these fuckers entertain this man, I give these niggas thumbs down. All these niggas I looked up to be now when I like I was listening to that motherfucking um Biggie Small every step you take. Now, I don't fucking I don't when I listen to that shit now I be wanting to fucking just slap the shit out of Diddy B. Word B. You know got this man fucking whacked off allegedly, you know what I mean? And then you knew it happened, then you gonna have a nigga write a song like that and you gonna sing it. Cause you wanted people to feel like you really had some sympathy for B.I.G. death. You fucking coward, man. That's why you going through your shit right now, man. And plenty more motherfuckers gonna be going through that shit, man. Cause God don't like motherfucking ugly, man. And money is the root of all evil, man. And money sometimes can't save your ass, man. Y'all make sure y'all go get them, sh them, them shirts too, man. I got them in different colors, moving these streets without being noticed. 
I got other logos too, you know what I mean? So support your boy, check out my Spotify, check out my website, sign up with your email. So when I'm throwing new music, giveaways, shows, I ain't do a show in a minute though since like 23 on winter time, but um, we don't get it back, it's hot. It's, it's a lot of heat waves going on, so they could just been chilling, but best believe I've been making music. I've just been stacking music, stacking tracks, and trying to get these videos, videos going. Shout out to my boy Jay Doc Cohen. He gonna have his project dropping soon called Shine. You can hit them links for him. It's down in that description too, man. Go check his music out. Positive note. Boy is dope. Could do any, yo. Know. We moving in these streets without being noticed. I know a lot of niggas like, nah, cut off because we ain't rapping about killing a hundred niggas. Like, yeah, let me let me say something. Like, niggas, be, as soon as they get on the track, 20 minutes into the track, he done killed the whole project. Are oh, you mad because I don't sound like that? Free bit, I killed him, I killed him. Did I put him in the front of the building? Did I came down the stairs and I shot him in the leg and the him in the shot in the leg? All type of dumb shit, you know? That shit don't even fucking add up. That shit don't even rap. That shit sounds stupid when you really sit there and listen to that dumbass music. I respect these niggas though. Some of these niggas is dope and some of these niggas just don't be saying shit. They done killed about five projects in the whole barrel, you know what I mean? And that one motherfucking song. Shit crazy out here, people. Protect your energy, protect your family, get your shit together. Fuck these celebrities, cause these celebrities ain't shit. All they want is our time and our motherfucking money. We the real motherfucking superstars, cause without our money, these niggas ain't millionaires and billionaires. So these motherfuckers better put some respect on our motherfucking name. Put some respect on a fan name, man. Fuck is wrong with you, nigga? B? If you a billionaire, we a billionaire, nigga, cause that's our motherfucking money, boy. They ain't giving back to the hood, they ain't got no stores, they ain't got no community centers, no where the kids to go get educated, use computers, none of that shit, B. They ain't got none of that shit in the hood, but motherfucking memories of drug dealers selling all the drugs in the world, killing all the same niggas in the hood they grew up and went to school with in the world. This shit fucked up, y'all. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and say fuck entertainers that ain't helping the culture. We got to start punishing them with money, B. You take that money away from them, them niggas start crying like little <laughs> bitches. I'm up out of here, moving in these streets without being noticed, man. We got to love each other, take care of each other, and spread nothing but unity and love, man, because ain't nobody going to love us back. Trust me, man. And them people definitely don't care about us. Michael Jackson, Ben told us, man, and it seemed that we don't even care about ourselves because the shit that we do to our own, man, this shit is just fucked up, man. Like, subscribe, check out my previous videos, man. I'm going to be back with some more videos soon, man. I'm going to get back motivated, saving my people, helping my people. Even when I'm out and I come across people and I be in the stores and shit, I try to build. You know, I don't go up straight up to niggas. If a certain situation contributes to a con good conversation, then I'm we're going to talk some good talk, you know what I mean? And if shit like that happen, ver you know, verbally, and eventually, if it's good vibes and all that, we swap. Instagrams, whatever, or phone numbers, and we continue our success and trying to rise each other up, man. But yo, moving in these streets without being noticed, slow money better than nobody, but it's all my money. Get your shit to care together, people, because there's a lot of y'all young niggas out there, y'all lost, man. Y'all don't have no sense of direction, but just coming to the block, getting high all day, doing that shit down there six or seven days out the motherfucking week, B. You spending your money on another thing. We could have owned mad liquor stores, B. We don't own, it's like a few black owned liquor stores that I ran across lately. Like one in Queens on Merrick Boulevard, been black owned for a while. But check this shit out. We don't own none of that, no liquor stores, but in the liquor store, all that liquor in there, we could probably use a couple of liquor stores to pour out a little liquor for the motherfuckers we lost, B, from the culture. You probably need a fucking whole block of liquor stores for the people that motherfuckers died from our culture but over senseless bullshit violence, man. Like, subscribe, check out the links in the description, the OG Make Music. I just dropped a joint called Want This last month on iTunes and Spotify. I need y'all to go turn that up. It's down there in the link. Sign up to my website. I got love in my heart for everybody. I don't hate nobody. I only hate niggas that's trying to fucking fuck up the culture. I don't care what they driving, how much money they getting, who they fucking, how they living. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm not a hater. I'm a congratulator, you know what I mean? And I, I'm not a hater. I can see a nigga doing good, and I could be wanting to help a nigga. Like, yo, you know what? I'm going to come support you. Oh, I like what you got going on. I'm going to spread the... I don't even want nothing off of this shit. I'm going to spread it because it's all about connections and connecting to people to get connected to people to get connected to people. Eventually, 
your work will pay off and God will reward you. But um, on that note, like, subscribe, share, check out my previous videos. Stay hater, sucker free, moving in these streets without being noticed. Slow money better than no money. But it's all my money at the end of the day. I could never hate on nobody, B. I don't give a fuck how much money they got. I could pay my bill, do what I want to do, and I want to do it. I'm going to buy it.